Hey, girls and boys, it is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Um, so I thought we would start today by reviewing the work that you did yesterday, um, in case you had any um, trouble with that. Um, and then we're going to get into talking about multiples, um, which actually is going to be really interesting. I think you'll find we're going to we're going to learn some like really interesting things about uh, numbers and math. So, all right. Are you excited yet? All right, if you're not, it's okay. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so let's, um, this video, I think I'll just focus on reviewing what you did yesterday and it'll be short and then we'll get into another video where we dive into multiples. How's that sound? Okay, so, um, so yeah, so we had found all the factor pairs for 18. Okay, these are all the factor pairs for 30. All right, and I drew one of the rectangles that you might have discovered. Um, but all the numbers that when you remember the factors of a number are the numbers that when you multiply them by each other equal 30. So one way to think of that is um, a factor times a factor equals a multiple. Okay, so the factors of 30 include <clears throat> 1 and 30 because 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 6 times 5. Okay, six times five is one that you, you should definitely know, and three times 10 is definitely one you should know. Um, you may not have known that one, that might have been a more difficult one for you, but since 30, okay, is an even number, which means that it can always be divided into two equal groups, then you know that two is a factor of 30, and if you split 30 in half, you get 15, okay? All right, here are the answers to the next page. Uh, there was only two factor pairs for 27, and there were four factor pairs for 40, and I put them in order from smallest to largest, which is what you should have done. Um, I did a three by nine rectangle for 27, three rows of nine, and I did five rows of eight for 40, okay? Uh, nine times three, is a good one to know for 27, okay? Uh, again, 40 is an even number, right? So two is a factor and half of 40 is two. Uh, 27 is not an even number, it's an odd number because you can't split it in half. I mean, you can, but you'd get a fraction. So it means that you split it in half evenly uh, with, with no, with no like um, pieces left over, no fractional parts. Um, of course, we know that 4 times 10 is 40, okay? And if you needed to use your square inch tiles, then that's fantastic. Uh, I made a mistake on this page, boys and girls. Um, I put down that there were four factor pairs. There's only, actually, there's only three because, I mean, you could have put in 4 times 3, but that's really the same as 3 times 4. So you could do 1 times 12, right? It's an even number, so you could split it in half and get two times six, or you could do three rows of four. So I did I did two rows of six for my rectangle, okay? This is, by the way, really good practice for your multiplication facts, all right? I'm sure you saw that. Um, 36 has a lot, and I mean a lot, of factor pairs. It has five of them, right? One times 36, like every number has, one in itself. Um, it has... 2 and 18, because half of 36 is 18. Um, this might have been one I'm not sure you would have known. 3 times 12, okay? If you have 3 dozen eggs, you have 36 eggs, okay? Um, and then you should know that 4 times 9 is 36, and 6 times 6 is 36, and that would have been on your multiplication chart as well. Um, by the way, real quick, um, I didn't draw a rectangle because I wanted to do it with you. If you, one, two, three, four, five, oops, I'm going to come down here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do mine six by six because I wanted to point out that 36 is a square number, okay? I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's, it's a square number because you can... Um, make a square out of 36 square inch tiles and you get each length, each side is a length of six. So six times six is 36. That makes it a square number. 
All right, and then the last page was optional. You did not have to do it if you did it. Here are the answers, okay? These are all the factor pairs and factors that I could find for 72. Um, the, two fa the two factors that I would like you to know for 72 are nine times eight. Those are the ones that I really want you to know. The other ones, this was a really challenging one, which is why I made it optional and why it's a challenge, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, so there's your answers for that. Uh, okay, so um, go to the next video and we will dive into multiples. All right, I'll see you, I'll see you very soon. Um, sorry, just as a quick thing, multiples are very much connected to factors, which is why they get can, can confuse them. But see how I said here, factor times factor equals multiple. So if you look at 18, for example, 18 is a multiple of all of its factors. Okay, so these are all the factors of 18, and 18 is a multiple of all these factors. Okay, so 18 is a multiple of 2, it's a multiple of 9. It's a multiple of 1, 18, 3, and 6. Okay, we'll talk more about it. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.